हे हेलो है वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल टेक ग्रंथा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फोर्थ वीडियो इन द ब्लेज मीटर सीरीज एंड द लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस लाइक हाउ कैन वी रन द टेस्ट इन द ब्लेज मीटर एंड हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट द सिनेरियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टेस्ट रिपोर्ट एनालिसिस वॉट आर द थिंग्स वी कैन मॉनिटर एंड वॉट वॉट इज द लाइक ऑप्शन इज अवेलेबल ऑन द ब्लेज मीटर रिपोर्टिंग पार्ट so before uh, i will proceed for the videos so if anyone missed the previous videos please go and watch in the playlist of the blaze meter i will share the link in the description box as well so we are going to show the live demo so the last time already uh, i showed you the jpet store test exhibition so how can we prepare the report and what are the things we need to monitor so once we we go on the summary tab right so here you can see like i ran the uh, test for two users and we got the average throughput value is 8.31 uh, 8.39 percentage and there is no any error and that the value we got at the average response time 90th percentile and the bottom you can see the scenario like we ran for 1 minute and that is the starting time and in time and uh, there you can see the response code is that 2x like all the thing is a green there is no any issue in the bottom you can see the two graph one is the like uh, load and here you can see the user hits and the error and the another graph is related to your response time okay okay next tab if we come on the timeline report so timeline report is nothing like uh, it will give the brief uh, in uh, like idea like how the test is ran what is the response time and all those things so in the uh, that is the kpi selection right on the left hand side you can see if you want to do the uh, like only specific for uh, category so you can just deselect and you can go ahead in the bottom you can see so in the similar way if suppose you want to extract like for the launch case the average response and all those values so you can just select that option and accordingly the timeline report will show you the next tab is comes under the request status okay so request status you can go and see the overall aggregate type of the report which you can see on the j meter so like here you can see that is the uh, sample like which you ran so i just make the transaction is on the filtered so that is a one launch and category here you can see the total number of samples then average response time hit per second 90th percentile value so those values you can see under the request status tab okay and from there mostly we are extracting the our uh, html report and just preparing the test execution final uh, report preparation next uh, tab is comes under your uh, engine health so engine health like for that specific location it will show you the like network input output memory cpu utilization and the connection all those graph you can see for your total duration of the execution and if you go on the error tab so like for example if you face any of the error uh, there then you can you can see because for that execution there is no any error so you can see like no any errors found but if suppose there is any error then it will show you at the description also what is the error is uh, there and in the logs you can just download your uh, uh, jmeter log also uh, to find out the little bit uh, more uh, uh, debugging part of your script and if you go on the last option like the original test configuration so here you can see the uh, basic uh, overview or difference like there is a one scenario i created that is the duration for one user for the two uh, sorry for the one minute for the two user and just use for the one location and here you can see that the ramp up and all those things another thing just i want to show you like here if you extract you can go on the executive summary and once your executive summary will open so here you can just uh, uh, share that report to any time your uh, client and the respective team members so it will show you the basic overview uh, infrastructure on there okay so that much things which i just want to discuss with you guys and if anyone have any question then you can just go ahead and watch the video and uh, please comment me on the comment box your doubts and clarification and the next video uh, we will discuss about little bit more enhance about the blitz meter tool itself okay thank you so much thanks to all